Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are driving through Mandeville. That's the Mandeville Hospital on the right. And this is the very nice total gas station on the left. And it's the Mandeville Regional Hospital. That's the name of the hospital. So we are driving out of Mandeville now. And you're going to notice something about Mandeville. It has so many plazas, this side of Mandeville. And we just took a tour of the Sovereign Mandeville Plaza that's being built. We have a massive plaza over here. Mandeville is a very busy place. It's the busiest and largest town in Mandeville. And I've been trying to find out what the criteria is for a town and a city in Jamaica and I just there's just no information out there because why is Mandeville not a city why is Ocho Rios not a city I, I just can't figure it out see even very a lot of plazas over here this side of Mandeville has a lot of plazas and this is a massive church wow but yeah, Mandeville. So guys, if you have any ideas as to why Mandeville is not a city, as to why Ocherius is not a city, leave the comments in the section below. We'd love to hear because these are such developed towns that they should really be upgraded from a town to a city. Because you have every bank, you have every fast food chain, you have every government office located in Mandeville. You have a hospital. You actually have two hospitals, a public or a public hospital and a private hospital. You have a university. The only thing Mandeville is missing is an airport and they're going to build or they're proposing to build an international airport at Vernon Field, which would be about 20, 30 minutes from here and with the highway oh my god it's probably 10 minutes on the highway and it is the highway is coming so I really don't understand why they don't upgrade some of these here these towns to cities and the two that stand out is Mandeville and Ocho Rios Ocho Rios I mean Ocho Rios could be a parish by itself the way it's so developed so many hotels not to mention Draxall just down the road. Oh, that definitely should get. And, I, and Draxall is not even a town. Draxall is the fastest growing community in Jamaica. But it's not a town. It's actually geographically a part of the town of St. Anne's Bay. I guess you could say it was a suburb of St. Anne's Bay. But Draxall is going to outgrow St. Anne's Bay in a matter of months. There is so much development going on there. Ocho Rios is, is a tourist town. I mean, the amount of hotels there, it's unbelievable. It should, it should be definitely, like Montego Bay is a city, Kingston is a city, Portmore is a, officially a municipality, and it's supposed to become a parish on its own very soon, but I'm not sure what's going on with that. The last I heard, they were putting together a committee and and some what is it that the, some government politics thing was getting into play, or am I mixing it up? Is that the Repub Jamaica becoming a republic? I think I think I'm mixing it up. I think. For Jamaica to become a republic, they have to modify the constitution and you're going to need the opposition and the opposition is not on board because they want certain things, politics, basically politics. But if anybody knows what needs to be done for a town to become a city, let us know, leave a comment in the section below. One, what needs to be done, and two, is there a criteria saying you have to have X, Y, Z, like a hospital, an airport, because Montego Bay recently became a city. 
the second city in Jamaica. When was that done? In the, in the 70s or the 80s? But it was done after independence. So it was done by the Jamaican government. So there is a process for these towns to become cities. And Kingston is a city. So there, there, it is, there, there is a way for them to become cities. Now, what's the criteria? I don't know. If anybody knows, as I said, leave it in the comment section below. All right, so this is now the Winston Jones Highway, also known as the Mandeville Bypass. So when you're heading back to Kingston, this road will take you to Williamsfield, where you get on the Melrose Hill Bypass, and that takes you on to Highway 2000. And that takes you back into Kingston in 40 minutes. So this road is going to be, I mean, Highway 2000 is going to run from Kingston to Montego Bay. So this road will be either one, upgraded to become a part of the highway, or two, they build a highway around this road and through St. Elizabeth and into Anchovy, Mount Pelio, Long Hill, and then down into Montego Bay via the Bogue Road. It would be nice if the highway incorporates this road so that they'll upgrade it to a four lane highway, dual carriageway, because it would, and then they don't charge people toll to use it like what they're using on the Melrose Hill Bypass. I'm sorry, as to what they're doing on the Melrose Hill Bypass. So the Melrose Hill Bypass is upgraded, very nice road now. You can look at the work going on, we have the videos up. And it's free, you don't have to use toll. You don't have to pay toll to use it. So I'm hoping they do the same thing with this road because this road definitely needs to be upgraded to four lanes and there is a lot of space on the left and the right to expand it to four lanes. And it already takes you right into Mandeville. So this that might be the best option. I'm not sure what route the highway is going to take through after Williamsfield basically through St. Elizabeth and we know it's going through Mount Pelio and Anchovy and Long Hill and down to Bog because they've started working on that side. Now they had mentioned something about Spurtree, a bypass for Spurtree Hill which would be part of the highway but some persons were saying that that's not the route of this highway, Highway 2000 that's probably the route of phase two of the Southern Coastal Highway. What persons are saying is that Highway 2000 is going to go run closer or follow the, the path of the train tracks. And the train tracks do run through Mount Pelia and Chobe. So that's the path the road will take, the Highway 2000 will take as it moves towards Mandeville. But we're going to do a video on that route. We're going to finalize it or confirm the exact route and then make a video. Alright guys, thanks for taking a tour with us today. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.